And we're live, everybody. Hi, hi. Welcome, welcome, everybody. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you so much. I have a wonderful um, bunch of ladies here today that I have um, enlisted <laughs> to help me um, because some um, I have two, uh, two shows that I do during the week. One is on Thursdays, and it's called Meeting with the Mediums. And the other one is on Sunday, which is Speaking to Spirit, where we have mediums and we have uh, others. Um, and I don't, you know, it's, it's not a problem if somebody, um, you know, reads cards because that's easier or, you know, does something else uh, if that would, if they can't, if they can't get anything from being a medium. Um, but I needed some extras because summer's here, people are on vacation. And so I'm not, um, definitely not uh, getting rid of anybody. Um, <laughs> we have Mark that comes on from uh, Spirit Whisperer. And we have uh, uh, Wisdom Seeker Joan. And yesterday I had Jenny on, who is, um, uh, what's her name again, Val? Um, uh, Starfish. Starfish. Starfish, mm -hmm. that's right. And I have Terry Suzuki. And on Sunday's Jean, Al Aubrey, um, and she is uh, Sun Psychic Jean. So it's just nice to have um, support back up and also to show the talents of these fabulous ladies who I am so honored to know. And so um, uh, who's who's uh, streaming? Val, you're streaming on, on Dragonfly? On Dragonfly. Anybody oh, okay. else streaming on their channels? We haven't. Do you guys want to stream? I forget all about it. You can. you can stream on your own channels as well. Yes, yeah. hello. Yep. And um and so then I'm gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about what we do. I you've you have met all of these people because I have had them on my channel before and we have had wonderful shows. But I just wanted to bring them all together too, because I think that um the, the synergy and the energy between the people that are here it's always beneficial to get to know other people and, and share and work with them. So I'm hoping to do all that here. So anyway. So Thank welcome. you. Thank all right. You. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> so we have Valerie uh, Illumination Portal. And this is what I'm going to do. And I'm not trying to embarrass anybody. I'm going to put Valerie in the hot seat. And I just tell the folks what you do, Val. What, what kind of things do you do? I... Um mainly read astrology now but i do read cards i am psychic i do get that quite a bit of information from my guides uh -huh. um, dragons i work with dragons I, uh, I i do really enjoy the astrology i do an intuitive astrology where i put your chart up with the current tran transits where the planets are now with your natal chart and your guides and my guides work together and give you a, a snapshot about what's coming up for you like yeah. within the next few months so it, it's really cool and it's detailed long and and i don't mean to make it sound like it's long and boring because it's not but it is uh, oh it is it's a lot of work to, yeah, yeah i would have two hours and i record it for you and send it to you that's awesome so, and, and, and you have worked with uh, dream detective kate as yeah. well doing angel readings yeah. uh, before but she's on a little mm -hmm. summer hiatus right now so yes I've right. been quite a few channels and especially i started mm -hmm. on your channel thank you, you Alex. Yeah. and um it's just growing you know i think all of us are just growing we're getting more of our uh we're remembering more of our skill set our downloads our abilities however you want to word all that because it's hard to put all those attributes into one you know oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah no it is and and not only that but we grow in different areas over time that we yeah. may not have had the the ability to uh to have before so absolutely yeah. Beautiful. so thank you valerie so now i'm going to have terry tell you a little bit about herself <laughs> hi everybody valerie i love what you said about remembering our gifts and our talents so that's a beautiful way to put that um, I am remembering. Um, so I do meditation, guided meditations, Monday through Friday on my channel, and also channeling, um, mediumship, intuitive, and I love to interview um, 
all sorts of different people, shamans and conductors, and just bring in people that you may not have seen or people that you know really well um, uh, that are already here and hear their perspective on things. That's wonderful. And Terry also works with myself and Diana Bowles on Wednesday night when we have our dream show. Yeah. And she's she's done a lot of dream analysis herself. And so we're, she's dipping her toes back in and we're liking it. So Remembering. Yeah. Remember. <laughs> That's right. That's right. So very rarely do we get two Valerie's in one room, but we got another Val. Yeah. <laughs> I never had it happen. I never did it. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. No, I do channel as well, and uh, I do mediumship. I also do Akashic Records readings. Oh, I didn't and, know that. Okay, yeah, good. That's yeah. my main thing, the Akashic uh -huh. Records readings. And um, <clears throat> uh, I channel any being, basically, that comes in galactic. Um, <laughs> angels that can be ascended masters mm -hmm. and um yeah so that's always fun for me and i finally i've been doing this for probably more than 40 years but i finally put it out to the public and um then so, my channel is a year old and i finally broke it the channeling away to next level channeling so um that was kind of exciting yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah, no, nothing. And, and um, I've considered doing another channel myself just for like um, books and things like that. But then yeah. I thought, no, I'll just leave it the way it is for now because I have so much to do still working. So, yeah, exactly. I think it's I'm, I'm retired. So, you you're know, retired. That, so, you don't have that, to. Yeah, yeah. That, that really frees up time for me to be able sure. to do that. So, basically, having another channel is not that big of a deal because I was already doing the channeling and posting it on Dragonfly. Nothing's That's really changed as far as that goes. So, uh, yeah. 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 And so Valerie uh, was the, um, I'm sorry, she uh, brought in the Sisters of the Mystical Tarot, which I belong to. And then she's one of the people that works with me with the storytelling cards with Marina from Heart Centered. And we have so much fun. So yeah. thank you so very much. That's thank so you. And now we have our Taurus. This is Amy, and she's just a sweetheart. I love her. Um, I had her on, it was a couple weeks ago, wasn't it? Yeah. Your doggy's not on the bed today. <laughs> I know he may jump up there. <laughs> That's okay. We love doggies. <laughs> um, Amy is fabulous, and she is what I call a polished uh, crystal that just needs a little bit of coming you know, working with other people and getting her out there because what she knows and what she does is wonderful. So tell them what, you know, tell them what you're, what it is that you like to do and what you enjoy doing. Amy. It's, it's one of those things where I say, what am I doing? <laughs> and what am I <laughs> doing? Because uh -huh. I started off mostly writing and music and writing music and guitar and every and playing piano and doing art and so i have all these things that i love to do i'm mostly i'm a really artistic person i think and, and i writer. think so too and yeah. so it's hard it's like spirit what do you want me to do do you want and they're like do everything but it's so hard to categorize so i, I don't think i've claimed anything yet i can't say i'm anything and i can't say that i'm completely a professional because i'm not i just do what spirit leads me to do and, and i'm still trying to find what that is really and you know what we've all been there i was there and i still don't know yet what i need to do you know what i mean i'm still seeking so um i see that in you and i see so much beauty so i'm so glad you're with us here today and i hope you enjoy doing this with us yeah i'm, I'm um, so excited to be here i really am I guess, I did, as you notice, I don't go on the camera on my own, so I'm really happy to be with all of you. Well, I'm glad you're here. And, yeah, <laughs> because I understand that. A lot of people don't feel comfortable initially on the camera by themselves. So, yeah. And uh, when I had Amy on, um, uh, you all know that I love Freddie Mercury, and she was saying, well, he had come. She ne he never comes to see her, but he was bringing himself to her just before we had our chat, which was so fabulous. I got goosebumps. But she also has John Lennon as one of her guides. And or, you know, yeah, I know. Isn't that wonderful? So, yeah. Yep. So 
you can imagine and you can be, Amy. So welcome, Thank welcome. You. Absolutely. All right. So let me put us all back in in some kind of order here. If I can figure out. Okay, there we go. There we go. So, yes, um, what I would love to do today then is I would love some of you, I'm going to say hi to a few people, but I would love some of you to um, ask some questions and let's, let's play. Let's, let's dip our toes in. And, um, you know, you can, I, my suggestion is you may not think you're a medium, but if somebody says, I'd like to hear from my uncle Joe, Mm -hmm. You know, and he, and because we need the first name of the person and what were they to you, like a friend or whatever, you can try it. And if you can't get anything, you can pull a card. I mean, I pull cards all the time on the show. So I don't really want to do anything here except allow you to do what it is you do. Work together and enjoy what you're doing. So uh, in the meantime, I'm going to say hello, Dream Detective Kate. It's good to see you, sweetie. Hi, hi, Chrissy at Footprint. We love having you. Richie and uh, Twisted Sushi. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. And Teacher Barbara, Chioko, Rossi, and Linda Day Gonzalez. Hi again, sweetheart. Sabine Magpie. Magpie. Aquila's here. Lady Silver. Um, let's see. Wayne Rich. Hello, Wayne. Happy Friday. I know you're out of work now. You must... Micah Goddess, and uh, let's see who else. Hershey. Hi, Hershey. Hershey's coming on my show next week. She does shadow readings, and it's going to be a lot. Very interesting. Very interesting. Uh, Jay Marcus. Hi, sweetie. Uh, let's see who else is here today. Uh, Sill. Carol Butts. Micah Goddess. Oh, it's so nice to have you. Hi, Thomas. Tarot your way. And uh, Warrior Girl is here. Amy Warrior Princess, Marita, Sal Rose. Um, who else is here? Warrior Girl. Oh, I got you, honey. All right. Marita's Mirror. How? Oh, my goodness. Amy Warrior Princess. This is wonderful. Hi, Diana Oil Painter. <laughs> um, thank you all for being here. Oh. Mm -hmm. This is great news. We read for for uh, Chrissy. She wonders if she was going to have a new contract, and it came. Yay, Chrissy. All right. Congratulations, Chrissy. Yes. That's yeah. fabulous. That is awesome. All right. Yeah. All right. So Amy Warrior Princess has a question. I'm going to let you guys work on it, and um, I'll shut my mouth. <laughs> All right, what does my dad Jerry have for me? Amy asks. Go real quick. Is, is there anything about a, a bullfrog or the song Jeremiah was a bullfrog? Or something about a pond. Okay. So anything about about a bullfrog or Jeremiah was a bullfrog? Okay. I'm waiting to see if she'll respond here and I'll let you know. I'm I'm seeing a mechanic for uh Somebody who works on with their hands with cars. So I'm assuming in a mechanic. I'm trying to get more um, okay. details. He lived on water and he liked to fish, Amy says. So there's plenty of bullfrogs out in the water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. time of year. I get that he wants you to come back to the land, something about the land or where he, um, where you were brought up, Amy. And um, there's something magical about it. And he wants you to return 
to that magic that you had growing up with that land. Um, uh, something about the spirits of the land and the trees. Mm -hmm. And um, he's showing me himself in a plaid shirt and um, uh, smells like Irish spring and glasses. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. And, um, I, can, I, I, can I just go, Allie? Or? Yes, honey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is what, um, Amy, this is what your dad, Jerry, is telling me. He says, yes, tell her to get more sleep and drink more water. Stop the warning. It's not productive. And uh, I love you. Then he says, tell her to chill out more. Tell her, I don't fish now, but I want you to go out in nature more. That was his message. Okay. So it coincides with the nature, with, you know, getting out there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. I pulled a card from... Um unshakable inner peace mm -hmm. and i got for you amy rest renew recharge what does your body crave and need right now like you're not getting enough rest and i he is just really proud of you i just see him mm -hmm. like pouring love towards you he had a light brown plaid shirt that he always wore yeah i know I have to tell everybody that's in the chat, this is not easy to do in real time. Um, a lot of mediums, you know, they need a lot more time. They need it to be quiet. You know, you have to kind of set the, the and, and um, I remember having people come on and being worried that they weren't fast enough or they weren't, they weren't getting what they wanted right away. So I just want you to know everybody here is supportive of all of you readers and thanks you for what you're doing and i'm also saying that um the people in the chat as well need to need to just realize that sometimes and and i'm thinking to myself um that amy's dad uh is is saying wow i got four women pulling on me <laughs> 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 so before we move on anything else from any of you well no? i did get the healing so what everyone oh. else said the healing and yep the use the nature the green lots of green yes yeah. uh -huh. and then support so that really matches what everyone else said that yep. he's he's watching over her and he does love and support her wow yeah. amy is trying to move to england she wants to move to England so bad and she's been working on it. So I'm thinking um, dad's like, make sure you get your sleep, drink your water. Like you, like yeah. you all have said healing. Yeah. She needs some healing before she goes. Yeah. 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 That lands thank you. Amy. Thanks Amy. And thank you ladies. All right. We have lady silver. She says she keeps getting a woody type smell. I know it's a friendly message. She wonders who might be reaching out to her. I'd like to ask her if she's doing gardening. Are you in the garden a lot? Oh. Lady Silver. I'll let you know, Val. <laughs> yes, our Earth Spirit has a YouTube channel and it's hard to find. And she <laughs> said and she will be the first to tell you, but it is in the information. So yes, it's in, in the channel information. Thank you. Mm -hmm. so, um, Lady Silver, I get that it's a male figure. I don't know if it's your dad or a grandfather, but it's about the connection to Earth and getting out more and grounding and connecting to Mother Earth. And this seems to be a theme that I'm hearing amongst a lot of people in this timing is to do that grounding and get out in nature. So mm -hmm. I'm we're getting supported by the other side all of our relatives and spirit guides coming in to remind us of that uh-huh 
Yeah. And I, that's what I get from that earthy smell. She says she lives near the neighbor's garden. Mm -hmm. So, okay. Yeah, I'm getting like garden fay or um, wanting her to be out in the garden is what I was seeing. Like her being in the dirt, like putting your hands in the dirt, grounding it out there. And this is really important, especially since the solstice for us to ground and connect to the sun and our higher, you know, our higher guidance coming in to it. it you know, we just got out of Gemini energy and it kind of felt a little staticky there. So we need to get everything grounded into Mother Earth ourselves so we can receive the guidance we need to go forward because the new path is open. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But I feel like being around flowers, I just saw a lot of flowers and a lot of uh, beautiful soils, what I saw. Could it be like a fairy? I mean, could it be that do you think it's the fairy folk? Because I kind of got the angels. It, it does yeah, include the fairies. There. Yeah, it it includes really the elementals and the fairies in that earth, yeah. earth in the dirt. So yeah. that connects really well. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Definitely. So you saw like a little wood fairy, did you, Amy? Is that yeah, what you? That was, that was the first thing I thought of, and then I got these, these little angels. I don't know if you can see the glare on there, but there's angels. They're all excited to have people reconnect with them. Yes. Like they want it so bad. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yes. That connection. So, um, Lady Silver, I'm getting. What is that uh, animal? That ancient. Um, person that comes in and he's half man, half horse. Oh, Pan? Is he, Pan. No. Yeah, so, so oh, Pan's okay. coming in um, with, with his energy and there's a there's like a veil or a portal in the southwest corner of this property or the western, if that oh, makes yeah. any sense. And mm -hmm. it, um, um, uh, this is also connected with forgiveness, if that makes any sense. And um, they're showing me also the golden heart of Jesus. You know how Joseph. Oh, um, wow. Um, I got a, the name Joseph too. Yeah. I, I didn't say it. I had gotten Joseph. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Really? <laughs> oh, that's fine. No, jump in. That's fine. Yeah, yeah jump in. Yeah. Joseph was okay. a contractor, and um, oh, um, yeah. there's a portal there, and they want you to connect. And either plant something over there or just spend some time there because there's something really important for you that you can get there. Those elementals are really working, aren't they? They are. Yeah. The crystal they are. yeah. yeah. Wow. I uh, was sitting in the hot tub the other day and I have one of those hummingbird feeders out there and um, a beautiful. Uh, pink headed hummingbird with green Ooh. was sitting there taking the nectar out of my hummingbird feeder and i was in heaven it was like oh my god thank you wow <laughs> oh you guys wait till you hear this <laughs> joseph was her grandfather she oh. never met oh my god oh, perfect that's cool wow. i thought it was a grandfather energy yeah 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 you are very supported lady silver yeah. you've got a oh. lot of um beautiful protection and guardians there ladies see how good you all are and you all work together really well that's awesome <laughs> yes i know i love that i got goosebumps all over me wow. uh-huh wow mm -hmm. yep um it, it's funny because uh there are things that we're told when we're when we're in the in the trance or listening or whatever and they sound so crazy yeah. you almost don't want to say them yeah but you know they really do have a meaning behind them and once you say them people go oh yeah you know that so thanks lady silver thank you dear all right so uh chioko says my sister rumiko betty barler passed 2 2 2023 is she still with me like I feel she is. I'm so sorry for your loss, dear. Um, and what a what an auspicious day that she passed. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Well, she's definitely with you, and she's coming through dressed really nicely. Uh, just so you know, um, she looks so vibrant. And I think he is really trying to guide you to um, 
open up more and to make more friends and to be out there and put your energy out there, open up in, in general mm -hmm. and to make yourself part of a community, um, a larger community near you and just keep growing your gifts. She's really supporting you and absolutely adores you. Mm -hmm. so she does have a beautiful energy and I quote like a pink, real bright, bright, like pink. Oh, can I just drop the first? Oh, but it, it looks like this. Like this. Oh, nice. Ooh. Beautiful. No pink is what I saw. And it says the universe rewards motion. What guided action can you take today? And it, it's like she's she's indicating that there's more. There's something more that would resonate with your heart. Yeah, that's big. Like expansion. Mm -hmm. Trying mm -hmm. to talk about expansion. Yeah. 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 Um, I get a big white cloud that comes in, or pink cloud that surrounds you, like almost like a blanket mm -hmm. of love. And and I I got that pink so much. Um, uh, she says, um, it's a breath of fresh air that she's bringing you. So I don't know if the breath or the air has anything to do with her passing. Um, and also she's bringing in roses and blossoms. And she says, um, blossom, little one. <laughs> oh. so, um, and something about the divine feminine and our lady. So I don't know if you have a statue, um, in your house or something that she owned that you have now that's very dear to you. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Well, I, I mean, I'm part of um, the fine oh. feminine. It's like sisterhood of the rose. Oh, yes. Thing I'm getting that for her. Yeah. Um, you, I just, it, it came in right away. Right? Yeah, I get a big yeah. chill on that. Yeah. 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 Okay. Okay. Amy, what you got? Well, this guardian angel card that has the roses everywhere in the pink. So I I love that. Oh, with Mother Mary. Something about the mall, something about they used to do with the mall together. And um, but I, I get that she she's in your you've dreamed of her. Mm -hmm. And she wants you to accept yourself as you are and not um, be so hard on yourself because she sees you from a place where she sees your divine beauty and that you, you are perfect as you are and loved as you are. And maybe in your dreams, you've seen her and she's just trying to help heal you from some of the, you know, the grief and feeling her loss. Sure. Yeah, Because yeah. she hasn't been gone that long. I mean, February is nothing, you know. In, in the way things are, but uh, it's wonderful to know that she's so close to you, uh, Chioko, and she's beside you and with you. How beautiful! All that beautiful energy. Wow. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. Really yeah. beautiful. Really good. And look, on this one, it says, "Have faith," and there's pink clouds right behind. Oh, her. oh my! God. <laughs> and it says, "So your pink and roses seem to be the big thing." Yeah, and your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. And I do think she is assisting you. She's given you encouragement to go forward mm -hmm. on something, something that really means something to you. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get what it is, but it's close. I to love her. that. I love that she's she remembers the times at the mall because. God, that has to be like a 90s thing, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> so American, isn't it? It is American, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's so cool. When I That's go actually, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'll say it real quick. I want you to finish. Oh, no. But there's Take something about my daughter and I, when we go to the mall, she likes to get bubble tea. And I think that's like a new thing where they've incorporated into the mall a lot of the things that teenagers like. But they still love that 80s, 90s. They, they love that era. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, Amy, and the bubble bubble tea is really cool. Oh yeah. my god, it's so delicious. Are you using Doreen Virtue? 
Yes. <laughs> yeah, I love those cards. They're, I love uh, them. Yeah. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. <laughs> All right. So um, hopefully you get that message, Gioco. And um, thank you for asking. Thank you, dear. Thank you, ladies. Micah, any messages from her spirit guide? She said she keeps hearing something with two to three months, but she's not sure what it is. Well, I'm, oh. like, I'm getting a huge opening and opportunity coming, mm -hmm. but you're also having huge awakenings. You know how we go along, go along, and you, you have a big awakening, another big one, another big yeah. one. So there is something big coming to you, and uh, these things are going to prompt more opportunities coming your way. And I really feel like it using your gifts in another way or with a different um, venue or a way to reach out to more people. <clears throat> that makes sense. I'm getting that song, um, Raindrops Keep Falling on My Head. Who is that Neil Diamond or somebody? <laughs> no, it's BJ Thomas. What are you yeah. talking about? Oh my God. Okay, you know, I love it, Ellen. I love it. Um, so, um, just like the guy who's too big for something, I can't remember how that. Yeah, okay. So, something mm -hmm. really big is really, really big is coming in. Mm -hmm. Oh, a really big show. Huh? Yeah, yeah. And it's going to be transformation. <laughs> Micah, I don't know if you're already in the healing arts or doing something. But also, I'm really drawn to your picture in the black and white and um, that sense of balance that you have. And um, you're going to be balancing um, something with healing. I don't know what it is, but lots of water there. Oh, my gosh. I got equinox, fall equinox. So, somewhere around there, something's going to happen. And it, here's this, this little lady is in water swimming. Oh, oh. yeah. And it okay. uh, says, everyone is on their own journey. How can you focus more on your own path? I think you're making, you're, you, you're feeling in the, in the details of something. And I do think it's in the healing or uh, reader, psychic realm. So maybe in two to three months, she'll come on my show. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, you would say the sky's the limit. I mean, she's actually yeah. swimming through space, too. So it's like that. Awesome. Something yeah. huge. Something big. Mm -hmm. What you got, Amy? I got the balance card, and that matched what um, Valerie said. So it, yeah. it could be a balance in money. Um, mm -hmm. But I think it's also balancing herself because... Um, uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a trip maybe? Is there going to be some conference or something that's going to come up and she needs to get ready for that? And okay. Archangel Michael is with her. So oh, he's guiding her. No wonder her. why everything is going to be big then. He brings in the big. Yeah. That's awesome. Val, did you have something to say or did I? I didn't mean to interrupt you, dear. Oh, no, I was. The no. You were the first one that went. Okay. The first one, and I, I said that she has some big, big, big things coming. Yeah, and yeah. that her guides want her to connect more in a different venue, in a different way. To different way. And yeah. it, it really would be mediumship and using her, you know, abilities. Uh, this is a bigger, larger audience they're wanting her to go to. So, as I said, she'd have big, more big openings occurring toward that time. And, um, yeah. She's getting butterflies, she said. Yeah. <laughs> She's going for that. And you don't. So, the sun is like behind you. You got it's Ooh. a new dawn. It says the worst is behind you, and positive new experiences are on the horizon. And really do feel something around equinox, something in that. Yeah. 
that Virgo season. She I don't says know. this resonates. She says it res it resonates with her. So, wow, that's that's fabulous. That's fabulous. I do want to show you this because Chioko did say that she has her pink scarf. Oh. So no wonder you guys were pink, pink, pink with her. Validation. There's some validation, yeah. It, it, you know, sometimes we think we're we're spitting in the wind here, but you know, all the time, yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. All right, so I got Warrior Girl. Mm -hmm. And she is a person also that does this kind of thing. She's just taking her time. Um, but she uh, would love a message from Brandon, her baby boy, who passed in 2000. Oh, gosh. Look, at she's got the rose there, too. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> We like, um, well, I know a lot of little um, boys like trucks, um, but I'm getting an image of him saying, look, mama, I'm playing, I'm playing with my truck. I'm still playing with my truck. And he's mm. still, I mean, all these, she's always going to be his mom. Mm -hmm. always. Yeah. So know, I, I don't know how old he was when he passed, but he I was, don't know, but this is what he's saying to me. He, he, <laughs> he dictated, oh, mom. <laughs> You know I love you so much, and I'm always with you. But he says, please remember that and take yourself outside, just like the other people are saying. <laughs> he doesn't want you to sit in front of your computer for you know X amount of time. He wants you to get up, expand your world. Um, but he, it was really cute how he was telling me, "Ah, oh, mom, you you know I love." <laughs> With all the time. Uh -huh. Wow. I got um, that he flies around your head. I don't know if that makes any sense or anything, but he's always in your head, kind of. Um, mm -hmm. And he shows me, or he laughs like a child's laugh and a child's mm -hmm. smile. That mm -hmm. beautiful uh, wonder. And he want he wants you to um, keep remembering that sense of wonder as a child. Also, um, he holds your finger. You know how children do that? They hold your finger. And he's mm -hmm. pulling you. <laughs> he's, he's pulling you into something. There's something that's happening that you're thinking about doing, perhaps, or that is going to come your way, a situation. And he is just pulling you towards it. It's something that's so important for you in your future and um, your sense of wonder. Mm. It's like like childlike wonder. Yeah. 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 And where you girl, I got healing heart. And you see there's a mom with a child here. Um, you're a powerful healer. Keep up the great work. So it's something about you. And then I she got is. you heal by releasing, not suppressing, which I know you know that. But it says mm -hmm. what emotions do you need to feel? And, and there's like all this amethyst crystal back here. It um, looks like a mountain. But she's outside going through one of the um, uh, labyrinths. Mm -hmm. So maybe whoever said to go outside, you know, it's about more of being outside in a, a, a meditative state to receive information, especially now during this solstice. You yeah. just, Valerie, you just hit on what it was. He what? wanted her to get out away from a computer screen so that she could channel in more information and be free. Oh, to yeah. Now that just made sense. She lives in a restrictive air, uh, situation. Let's put it that way. Um, you know, I don't want to go too much further than that, but I think you're right. I think she does need to just get out and be away from mm -hmm. those restrictions. Yeah, even if you just stand outside and just look up into the sky. Yeah. The sun is bringing in these yeah. packets, these downloads of information that we're all receiving to go on our to go on our, our new journey, I okay. want to say. 
Yeah. You're in different energy now. Yeah. And even though life still may seem the same and it's struggle, there's a lot. If you go out and connect to the sun and just ground, stand on Mother Earth and bare feet, you will receive mm -hmm. what you need to receive. She is a powerful healer herself. She mm -hmm. really, really is. Yeah. So we're sending you lots of love, Warrior Girl, and hopes for uh, reconnection with source outside. Yeah. Love you, dear. Thanks, ladies. Mm -hmm. All right. So this is our dear Chrissy. Chrissy has footprint tarot down in Australia. Mm -hmm. And she's fabulous. I love her accent. Mm -hmm. her, her uncle Robert just passed, she said. Mm -hmm. And she wonders if her father, Terry, was there to meet him or anything you can get from that exchange. I got absolutely, there was a, like a party celebration is what I first saw. That's, that's uh -huh. without even looking into it. Let me look in. I mean, I, I, I saw him slap him on the shoulder, um, your dad, slap Robert on the shoulder and says, of course I'm with the mate. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, don't you say that. It's too, it's too you know. Yeah. Everybody in Australia says yeah. <laughs> yeah, like chick, shrimp on the barbie. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> like a big... Uh -huh. Like their hug slap thing, and hey, mate, how's it going? <laughs> right, exactly. Well, yeah, I, I heard uh, your dad say, your dad Terry said, um, yes, he, he said, I escorted him over. Mm -hmm. and he said they had a huge reunion, and um, he reconnected. Really beautiful visit uh -huh. and very joyous. Because when you're out of the body, you, know, you just feel this unbelievable, unconditional love that isn't even speakable in 3D land. But um, he says he's in good hands, and he, Uncle Robert is in good hands and sends his love. But <clears throat> I think your dad, Terry, was really trying to impress how magnificent the energy is when you're on the other side and you're in another dimension and you're not in the physical body on 3D, that sense of, of nirvana, that feeling that, wow, you you are home, yeah. cannot be matched. So, of course, they're doing extremely well, and uh, they're together. That's so sweet. I get that he was there before he passed in the yeah. room. Yeah. Um, and that... Um, they're walking i see them walking off into the mountains and um and there's a ocean there that they're going and he says they're going to their own haunts and then he says that with a little grin like mm -hmm, <laughs> metaphor yeah. so anyway they're visiting their old places um there's like a fire going on a beach fire or um outdoor maybe from camping and somebody's playing the guitar and um there's Somebody playing that, what is it called? A Durana Hue? Not a Durana. Oh, didgeridoo? A didgeridoo. Yeah. didgeridoo. Yeah. And, and there's that primal um, mantra of the earth with it. Like, mm -hmm. and he just, uh -huh. he's alive. I mean, he's just loving it. So they're, oh. they're very, very uh, gifted. And yeah. he sends you a lot of that energy too. Oh, Chrissy, that's great. Yeah, that's it great. was sacred he was there he's he was right there and um uh, excited for him to feel that feeling that vow uh -huh. yeah that yeah. unconditional love yeah. and mm -hmm. i got alchemy so i you know it has, that has to do with the energies and he sure. was he i guess this well this does happen for all of us somebody meets us they're usually waiting where we're, we're Mm -hmm. transitioning 
It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Amy, you have a card too? Well, I got the music card. And so they probably, <laughs> I think they, they probably liked a lot of the same music. And I heard the song, um, all right now. Yes. Yeah. All yes. Right now. Yeah. 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 Uh, oh my god that's great that's great oh and you know what is really cool too chrissy is that they know that you that you know all this really because you are in a spiritual you are a spiritual person and so the fact that they you know this like oh yeah chrissy knows she knows <laughs> i can just see it i can just see it it's fabulous mm -hmm. um thank you hun Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Um, all right. Warrior girl. The feedback here. She was eight months pregnant when she lost Brandon. I received a truck for him at the party before losing him. There you go, Amy. I see flashes around my head all the time. <laughs> and I stood outside barefoot on solstice and I do heal. Yeah, beautiful warrior. Awesome. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, I just wanted you all to hear that because, uh, you know, it isn't that we're doing anything, but we like knowing that we hear the right, you know, yeah. here's the right person, the right thing. Yeah. Right. So it's just, yeah. it's just a validation for us. Yeah. The validation is, it is important because we, it again, is. we're all remembering. And, we're, you know, we're not used to, a lot of us are just coming into this. A lot of us have been always psychic but question if we were right you know but this yes energy now is we're all it's coming like, on and we all need to encourage accelerating yeah, yeah, it is. Like, yeah, yeah yeah you know yeah. yeah yeah all right so we've got oh, sill if i put it together it's silly silly <laughs> <Get> it? <laughs> <laughs> um she wonders if uh, there's any message from spirit guides i too feel my parents and my ex-husband who have all passed wanting to send me messages so um silly it's like everybody's um standing around in a room around you and um discussing um the the best foot forward because they don't want um the downloads to come too fast because you might be getting a lot of them right now and they want you to be gentle with yourself and go at your own pace because a lot of times when we get all this, we get a little ahead of ourselves and we get a little anxiety. Mm -hmm. um, um, and everybody's kind of talking about the next step. Mm -hmm. So um, I feel like you're ready to jump off into something, kind of like the full card, you know, jumping off a cliff and um, uh, finding uh, wonder. So. Oh, okay. Oh, <clears throat> so silly. Uh, your spirit guides are just so excited that the path you're walking, you're moving well on that path. And it's true, big openings are happening for you all the time. So yeah, definitely it is something to have to, you can even ask for them to tone it down a little bit, but to stay in balance, you release all the old stuff as all this new stuff is coming in you got to let go of old <laughs> patterns and things so you can accept more energy in and they're saying that more big openings are coming and um they are uh really cheering you on um, so definitely drink water stay balanced violet flame mm -hmm. and yeah, yeah, they like it. <clears throat> Thank you, Create Love. That's very nice of you. I got the first thing I got is you're being helped while Terry and Val were saying that you have a team behind you and they're not sure on they're working behind it's the scenes is what I saw, is what this card says also. Even if you don't see results yet. And then I've got everything is reflection. Hold up the energetic mirror. What do you need in your life that you're not currently getting? And I think this has to do with receiving the messages you're getting, like you're not trusting them. And I got a card of uh, receptivity that is 
you listen to others share their truth and you're open you're an open channel you receive information and you also turns towards you and through you something where someone seeks your attention right now remember that even animal spirit allies can be messengers of wisdom and i saw i saw a cat when i read that i don't know if you have a cat be open to the messages as they come in whatever form and ask for clarity if needed as you integrate what you receive so i think that's this is this is all opening up for you Mm -hmm. How about you, Amy? What you got? Well, I got pancakes. Pancakes. <laughs> I want a pancake now. <laughs> I love that. This probably had like when they got together, maybe they had pancakes for breakfast or something, huh? <laughs> I just got the word Denny's, so maybe they would go on to like Friday to night Denny's. Or something. Oh, okay. But if that resonates, let us know, Sil, if, if Denny's or pancakes resonate with you. Um, I wanted to share, um, uh, Chrissy had two things to say. She said, the mountains and the sea mean something in the city that we are from is coastal and backs up to the mountains. And then she said, I can see them both singing as my uncle and uh, had MND and could not talk at the end. Oh, okay. Um, I like to think he found his voice again. So, yeah. oh, that's a nice feeling. That's oh. great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. I don't know. Okay. Reverend Diana. All right. Create love. How beautiful. What a, what a lovely name. All right. Um, let's see what we got next here. All right. So we have uh, Sal. Is this Sally? Is that what her name is, Val? Yeah. yeah, Sally. And she'd like to hear from her maternal grandmother. She never met her, and her name was Hazel. Don't tell me now that she's going to have that Hazel um, outfit on, <laughs> a maid's outfit. <laughs> <laughs> is that what happened <laughs> well, she, came in in a, she came in in an outfit that was um and i wrote down uniform um mm -hmm. so i don't know if she was from the old country mm -hmm. so but i get that she was very traditional and um and she had a uniform that she wore like maybe a cardigan and a blouse and a skirt proper mm -hmm. shoes mm -hmm. um and something about a locket and I'm seeing roses also. So I don't okay. know if this is the divine feminine, if she was connected to um, one of the archetypes of Our Lady or, um, oh. okay. um, but, but very devout. Okay. And, you know, um, Sally, I'm getting that she is actually one of your um, support system people. But she is telling me she had gifts in her day. And mm -hmm. because of the religious beliefs, she was not able to utilize her gifts. And so in your ancestral lineage, that going back, there's that stuck place. You have the gifts now, and you feel like you're not able to access and utilize them. But you actually have them, and you can. So to open up that and let that let that heal all the in all space and time, in all dimensions and all timelines, in the highest good of yourself and all. Let that go and heal it. I see a, a lady. Um, you know, kind of like Terry described, very um, reserved, uh, conservative, dressed, um, middle age to older, and I feel I felt very religious, but she couldn't she couldn't speak her truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was the time period, probably mm -hmm. if that's her grandmother. She, yeah, and and. I, I picked this card and it has the roses all over it. So whoever yeah. said roses and this mm -hmm. said 
oneness is the way how can you show more compassion and acceptance towards those you don't understand but i don't i don't agree with that i i'm looking at the picture more than anything that it is your time to stand in in your truth in your light and uh -huh. i believe she's all around you and the roses are representing to me your guides and angels Wow. Yeah. So. She, so she passed in 1962. So mm -hmm. she may have been, she may have been a younger person. Mm -hmm. Amy, what you got, honey? Well, I'm after this, I'm going to run and grab my uh, charger <laughs> because I see. Oh, my, sure. So hopefully, I, um, my we only my, got one, a couple more anyway. Yeah. Okay. My, my grandmother was on the orphan train, and I never got to meet her. And her, her mother, my great grandmother, who obviously I never got to meet, she was an Irish housemaid in um, Staten Island, New York. And she put my grand, she was seduced by the man of the house, got oh. pregnant, and had to go to New York, probably across the big Staten Island Bridge, the Arizona Bridge, and gave the, my grandmother up for adoption. So we never knew these people. And I, um, so. I kind of see that connotation of um, if my great grandmother, who had that horrible fate, had known her gifts, right, knew how to use her psyche, and and they were yeah. Catholic and all that, you know, you're told not. Yeah, to do yeah, it. you have the Catholic guilt. Yeah, she may have had that sense of power and ability to navigate through her life, and yeah. my grandmother too, in some ways. Although she, my grandmother, yeah, even to a happier life after that, we will say. Yeah. So. Yeah. I think I get emerging, and so I do get the thing about claiming your your psychic gifts, your intuition, and not feeling ashamed of it, and using it as your power as a woman. And she's mm -hmm. it's okay with her. You do not feel yep. ashamed of that. It's okay with her. Awesome. I love how you guys flesh out the whole thing. <laughs> I'm having a fun time just listening. No, everybody's doing so well, really. Everybody gets it different. And um, I know how it all makes sense, though. It, it does me. make sense. It, it does. does. come together, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes, it does. She had a deep inner strength. She may not have been able to yeah. say her what she needed, but mm -hmm. there was a, a power there that she had. Yeah. So wow. she puts that on. All right. So, um, Syl likes that we call her silly and, and she takes it as a form of endearment, which is the way it was meant. But she wants us to know her mom loved Denny's pancakes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she, um, she would take her there and the kids there very often. Well, I hear the hit. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. That's really awesome. Nice, yeah. Amy. Yeah. yeah. And, but she says she's receiving the messages. But she wonders why she feels the doubt. And I have to say that it's we all have been there where we're going, nah, I don't know if that's real. Right. You know. Yeah. So how did you go overcome that, ladies? How did you overcome the doubt? It's just a natural process where you're gonna be in that situation until you do enough readings and get enough feedback to where uh -huh. I mean you have to put yourself on the line and say right. things that you think, oh God. Do I really have to say this? Is this going to make me look like a fool? Just say it because it's something you got for that person. And right. over time, you, you gain the confidence from the feedback that you are yes. going in the right direction and you're getting the messages clearly. It's a journey. It is a journey. It is a journey. And I got more confidence and secure in myself once I learned how to connect my heart, my high heart to my third eye. Mm -hmm. So my heart works for my ego. I don't mm -hmm. let the ego rule. Like I, eat. that's how we were all brought up to, you know, why aren't, what are you doing? Why aren't you doing it? But now the heart speaks very quietly. And um, I connected my pendulum to my heart. And that's how, but mm -hmm. when I want to verify the information I'm getting, I usually use the pendulum too. So it, mm -hmm. it does. It's like there's so many tools available to us that we can mm -hmm. practice in, practice with people or, that you trust. Mm -hmm. You know, there, I think there's so many more people that have waking up, and that's the beautiful thing too, because they're remembering their gifts and and wondering, 
are they hearing is what they're hearing accurate or not mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. and it takes you know trust there's that word trust the universe and trust yourself mm -hmm. and, and and you have guides you have a team of guides call them in um i don't i don't make any i don't really do anything without my guides yeah that's i don't wonderful it does take takes a while but i think yeah. this is also speeding up in this new energy the gifts are going to come in faster and yeah. you're going to understand you're going to because you just can't make it up you'll say something and all of a sudden you see something associated with what you just said or heard that's that's the divine talking to us it just yep. talks to us with everything around us the most random things songs book titles people yep. just speaking a word a, a, a menu item <laughs> it can be anything mm -hmm. it's really cool yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's, awesome. Okay. that's awesome i think this is about being gentle with yourself too you know mm -hmm. and um that trust and vulnerability yeah. um uh, that's a big step but being aware that you have a little anxiety there and calling it out and yeah. once you say hey i see that it changes mm -hmm. the whole energy of the anxiety sure and especially if you can give it love and connect with your heart space like valerie said beautiful beautiful ladies yeah beautiful <clears throat> anything from you amy <laughs> well you know when uh with my ex i remember one time he was gaslighting me and he was telling me i was crazy but that he was he was praying for me uh -huh. <laughs> oh yeah that old stick oh, yeah oh, and i remember <laughs> I had one curdle my yeah yeah that's fun isn't it <laughs> but to, you know and and i spent my whole childhood not um you know getting those i, I spent my whole life getting those voices out of my head and then he yeah. was repeating that whole thing yeah. up and so, and I just remember I had this strong, deep knowing. It wasn't a voice, but it was, you know, how you get the, the words. And yep. it said, he's wrong. Thank you, boys. I mean, yeah. yeah no, and she had problem. similar with what her mother told her as well. So she's had to do that double, yeah. you know, and, and she's a beautiful, beautiful woman. And, um, you know, it. she's she's talented as you can see and uh, those voices yeah. make me so mad oh yeah. my god but i'm glad you pushed and pushed but that was part of the societal training can we say it like that i and, guess and they you know you had to believe in organized religion and go by the system see all that's, mm -hmm. that's all changing especially in the astrology with pluto going it went back into capricorn but it's going to go into aquarius all these things are opening up all these doors because what they tried to repress was unconditional love and the truth and it, sure. it, it can't happen it's yes. there's right. no way it can continue on the way it used to yeah, yeah. So thank you, ladies, for all of your wisdom. We have one more, and then I've got to go over to Kelly's channel. She just yeah. hit a thousand people, so oh, she's wow. excited. Yeah. Yes. And Jules Niner is a new um, member of Val's. Uh, congratulations! That's wonderful. Val I has. Like a crystal. I got yeah. to open up a membership. That's wonderful. Thank you, Jules That's Niner. Um, so Jules Niner said one neighbor has chickens, which is against the homeowners association. Well, I could imagine. Mm. And the other has a dog that runs around their house barking from nine to four. And I have a suggestion mm. and it's not cruel, but it's immediate. Mm. You can buy these little things that you can't hear them, but the dog hears them oh. and th it stops them in their tracks. Mm. honest to god and they go like this when you do it <laughs> it's amazing it's on i got one on amazon for 15 dollars, mm. and it shuts that dog up now i'm not trying to be i'm not a cruel person i love my animals yeah but that dog does not not need to be running around and you don't need to deal with hearing all that all the time so yeah. anyway it's ladies if you're yeah no yeah. it isn't yeah. yeah is it are they leaving their dog outside because that's that's Sounds like it, and it, and it yeah. runs around. Yeah. He's, he's, let me in. Let me in. I'm I'm scared. I'm alone. Yeah. That's what he's doing. Okay. 
Yeah. If you could go out there and talk to him too, Jules. Yeah. 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 And yeah. just say, Hey, um, I can understand what's going on. I want to talk to you. And, um, uh, a dog whistles, she says, I'm not so sure about that, but have a talk oh. with them and tell them that you're going to get this uh, product that Allie's talking about. And yeah. The, yeah. It's like a whistle. Yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's electric. Yeah. Have a yeah. conversation. Mm -hmm. They have a dog door. And so probably the dog hears the chickens, runs yeah. out the door, you know. Yeah. 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 Poor little pebbles. Oh, I know you don't want to uh, to do anything. Oh, so Sil says, uh, thank you. I have a better understanding of, 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 you know, what she's doing. And she wants to say that she's been moved to tears, but it's been helpful. And I think it's wonderful when we can do that. It isn't always... That doesn't always happen that we have the ability or the time to do that. So we're happy that you um that you got something out of it. So yeah, absolutely. Right. I got with the dog. Um if you meditate, lay there and call in your higher self and the dog's higher self <laughs> and have a have a chat. Yeah. And yeah. ask him to please, mm -hmm. you know, what it is that you need specifically. I'm not sure. Also, going outside and having that chat too. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying feed him as much as maybe give him a toy. Mm -hmm. Buy him oh, something yeah. that is in the That's <laughs> his because I think he wants the chickens or it, it likes chasing yeah. him. You know, it's yeah. exciting or something. And if you if you could maybe buy mm -hmm. him his own toy so he knows that he uh -huh. has something to play with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, we're all animal lovers, so I we okay. certainly or you'll chat with them. There you go, Jules. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Ladies, you're amazing. Uh, what a beautiful uh, time I've had with you, and everybody in the chat has been so appreciative as well. Um, so I'll be asking you to come on. I, we usually don't have this many readers do it at a time. Yeah. Usually I have one or two. So um, yes, but all of you are you know, and it's not easy to do. It looks easy, but it isn't easy. And you all did so beautifully. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. So thank you. Thank you. And please make sure that you go over and like and subscribe these people's channels, please. Uh, they were they were um, awesome. They're very talented ladies. And all, I think all of them offer private readings. Do you mm -hmm. as well, Amy? Do you also? Just started. Do you just started. Okay. Okay. Yeah. okay. So all of them do private readings. So the information will be found on their on their channel sites. So thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye everybody.